Hey guys, this is your boy Marcus, and welcome back to the Marcus Mafia episode number 49. Possibly one of the last episodes maybe I'll ever, ever do. But as you can see here, I'm buying Sylvan Destan of Everton. And like I said in the last episode, the next ep this episode would be filled with spammers. And there's also a very funny thing which happens to me at the end of the episode, which is absolutely hilarious. And you'll love it all. But into the next match against a guy called Hackaboy. He's got Van Persie, Eto, Dumbia, Martin, Spartan, soon Matthias. And look at his back four. You know exactly what he's going to do. He's going to come ping it up to Van Persie and score over and over again. So Big Van der Merch is also on the bench. So I was like, hmm, this is going to be a bit, a bit more problematic is my good word to use. But um, actually there's three, uh, there should have been four games in this episode. But the last game, um, half on, only the last like 10 minutes of the match actually recorded where nothing really happened. So there was no point for me showing it. So I showed the result and I showed his team at the beginning. But the rest of it I don't actually get to see. But here... Kabai gets very far away, he gets a shot away and he ends up hitting the bar. How unfortunate can you be? I mean, like, half time came and I was just like, hmm, that's not too bad actually. I mean, we're playing some good football, he's playing some crappy football. He's actually playing some good football to be fair. I mean, he's had four shots, two on target, I've had five on three and I've hit the post, hit the bar, so it's not too bad. So in the 49th minute here, I'm on the ball with Elm. Elm hits into Cassano. Cassano plays, it's such a clinical ball through to Kabai and scores. And I was just like, yes. But here, 58 minutes on the clock, again, get a shot away, a great save, but Kabai pops into the back of the net, and I was just like, Kabai! And then in the 60th minute here, I actually give the ball away so cheaply, Van Persie's throw on goal, and Van Persie scores, because I mean, Van Persie is a great player, to be fair. So, in the 80th minute here, I'm like, oh crap, I mean, I'd been dominating the whole game, he ends up playing it through to Eto'o, and I was like, no! And Sereno hacks him and gets a yellow card, and I was like, oh crap. And then he ends up taking the penalty, and hits it, slightly to the right of the middle and I was just like hmm. so I was a bit disappointed there but I'm not really too disappointed in the 88th minute here Elm is through on goal and I was like no 80 seconds sorry try and get your shot away gets a shot away and the keeper makes an absolutely amazing save and then literally into the last minutes of the game here Jovetic is on the ball plays a nice nice one two with Cassano he plays me on with Pereira pushing him back and Jovetic just goes thank you very much and Jovetic scores, he gets the last kick of the game, and yeah, so we win 3-2. I mean, this guy, I mean, look at this, his pass completion 69, possession 46, 9 shots, 6 on target, has 17 for 11. I really should have scored more. Kabai got man of match, I was like, hmm, not too bad. I ended up getting about 2.6 or 2.8 million from the match, so I was like, not bad. I mean, having just bought a new goalkeeper, of course, I and, and of course, Sylvan Distan, I have no money left. So I was like, alright, all right, I'm going to have to try my best. So into the next match against Guy, team strength of 8.15 and a rating of 4.48. And this guy, if I can remember correctly, was the definition of piece of crap. Definition of piece of crap. And if you're watching, I'm so sorry, but you really were. He had Ria Miachi, Martins, Balassi, Hulk. He had on the bench Van der Merch, Eto, Obi, Walcott, Max Lopez. He played four centre backs, Mika Richards, a story, like a story not too much of a pace abuser, but Mika Richards sort of is. And I was like, yeah. But to no know, alas, in the ninth minute match here, I got a good shot away. And Lampard ends up hitting the post, however unfortunate. And I was just like, oh, well, the guy shouldn't be too bad. I mean, in the 19th minute of the match here, I get, I get through on goal, well, through on goal. I mean, Sereno's playing right back, so. He's running back, he's running back, get it to Perotti. Perotti just decides to hit up to Vucinic. And look at this for a finish. Absolutely sumptuous finish into the top corner of the net. So, 35th minute of the match here, Eto on the right-hand side crosses it in. Perkos ends up heading it out straight to Vandermarch. Vandermarch hits it down to Hulk, and I think it's Hulk or Walcott. And he ends up hitting the post, unluckily for him. But in the 45th minute here, Perotti on the ball, he ends up... Not, it should have been a foul, but not given him. Like, I'm not really that bored. Vucinic ends up here getting a good shot away, goes just over the bar. But look at his pass completion. Look at his pass completion at halftime. This is the lowest we've ever had at halftime. Look at it. Look at it. 38th pass completion. I know he's only had 36 possession, um, percentage possession, but really? A pass completion of 38? That's absolutely dreadful. So in the 70, 70th, 48th minute here, play a nice through ball. Frutos Vald. He brings his keeper out. I'll just go. Chip City. And I chip him. Chip him a great chip. 40, 90, 49 minutes on the clock. And then here... I get through on goal with Jovetic, I'm just like, Jovetic, nice easy goal, nice easy goal, hits it wide, and again, and again, I hit it wide again, I hit it wide here, I hit it wide, I'm through on goal, Vucinic has basically, basically done everything, hits it wide, and then from the 83rd minute here, he pings it through to Eto, I think it's Eto, I can't really tell, 
and he ends up just running, 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 oh, Walcott, sorry, and he gets a shot away, and he scores, and I was like, yeah, not too bad, so in the 85th minute, again, he's going to ping it through, pings it through the first time, I get a, yellow, a red card for that foul by Jovetic, which was absolutely ridiculous, considering I didn't do anything, and he auto-slid, so I was like, a bit pissed off there, and from the from the resulting free kick, nothing really happened, so it goes into the last minutes of the match, and I was like, please don't concede, please don't concede, please don't concede, but what happens, gets the ball, pings it straight through, through to Eto or Walcott, I can't even tell, maybe even Hulk, and he scores, and I was just like, really, like, really, like, you see the stats, and I did deserve to absolutely destroy him, my finishing was just absolutely terrible, he had only a 39% possession, 51 pass completion, had 15 shots, 5 on target, I've had at least two more shots on target, I would have won that game by so many more goals, but nothing I can complain about, because it's all in the game, it's all fun. But anyway, Lampard got again man of the match, like he was getting man of the matches all last episode, and I got 2 million from that match, so it's not too bad, I mean, it could have been worse. And into the next match of the episode. So, this match is a relatively short match, he had a team strength of 1 better than mine, and his rating, his rating was 30 less, but I was like, eh, I'll try my best, you know, you're always going to try your best. So, he had a team with Pat O'Hulk, El Shirari, Sherla, and he played um, Danny Rose, Rossi, Bellatelli on the bench at Higuain, but then, as you can see, how far forward Hulk and Pat were, he, I knew all he was going to do was ping it through, and it's very difficult to stop that. That is why, basically, I was stopping MLO, but I went back to it and I had actually some fun playing in these matches. This this episode, not so much last episode, a little bit more, but um, I'm not sure if I'll continue it. I might I might start again, might do something a bit different, maybe try some, some different sort of new thing, something no one else has really done, because there's not a lot of people who do, do pairs, so it gives me the option to... Expand the horizons is a good word to use. But anyway, here in the 25th minute, Cersei should score, hits it wide, and I was like, what the hell? But look at this for pass and play. One pass, two pass, three pass, four pass, five pass, six of passes. All one touch play before Cersei chips the keeper, and I was like, yes, yes. So at halftime, I have one shot, one one shot, one goal, and he has zero, and he has a pass completion of 70, and I have a pass completion of 80, and he has more percentage possession, and I have more shots on target, and shots, he only has two shots, zero on target, so I was like, okay, I'll try my best in the second half, try some new stuff, but in the 47th minute here, he does a stupid little skill inside, and this guy just kept skilling it for no, re no reason, Baines ends up, it's a good, it's a good, like, tackle, but I mean, it just, it was just like, what? And then Baines keeps everyone on side, and Pat ends up scoring at the back of the net. So I was like, well, that's not down to me, that's down to the game, it's been a prick. So, in the 86th minute, 66th minute here, Hulk on the ball. How does Whitaker not get that? I'm not even sure. He ends up hitting the top corner, and I was like, but Naglu can do nothing about it. And then again, he just pings it forward too. Does, I mean, Pat was facing the wrong direction, so I was like, how the hell do you do an accurate through ball when you're facing the wrong direction? Explain that to me. Have you ever done a through ball facing the wrong direction? In real life, no. So in the 80 second minute here, again, Hulk gets thrown on goal, Hulk gets a shot win. Hulk is so goddamn overpowered. I mean, yes, he's a good player in real life, but he shouldn't be able to just shoot every single shot into the top corner. I mean, he had only had 9 shots foul on target, I had 11 for 4. If I took more, more of my shots, would have probably won. But he won 4-1, and that was like, nothing, nothing I can really do there. I mean, yes, I could have played better, but... I, it's it's down to sort of playing against the game. So into the next the next match and the last match of the episode. Like I said, this match this episode actually this episode this match um failed to record, and he has Neymar, Benzema, Eto, um Hulk, and we will see the rest of his team. Uh, Wamatino, uh, Barry, Charisma. I was like, he's got a good team. But as you can see, how he's playing four right down the middle. He's basically playing a four one one two one one. And for a fact, all he's going to do is get to the right or the left and just ping it through. And once you got, once you get that pass through, I'll, I'll show it in one of my later videos where like how you can't defend really this thing because of the way that it is, and it is a bit ridiculous. Like the way he just played, but of course I have none of the footage, so I can't show you any of it I'll, I'll, except for the last two minutes, which is here. Like I got, I tried to get through on goal, and like it just all sort of went to hell. He did end up actually winning four two or 4-3, I can't remember if it was 4-3 or 4-2, but I mean, as you can see, he gets it out to the wing, and instead, he, like, yeah, he, here he's running at me because he knows for a fact that he's won the game, but this guy was the definition of prick, he was so ridiculous, and like, like the majority of other players, he just does the whole stupid, um, holds X, so here he's, as you can see, Benz was thrown goal, and I was just like, what are you doing, and he tries to chip the keeper, and he's just like, 
you just score it, mate. Don't don't be so over overly flashy for no reason. Just score and you, you win some games. But no. But anyway, into the funny bit of the episode. Hey faggot, stop moaning about spammers because you gay, I report you. And I was just like What? Like kiss my ass. I was like, excuse me? I found out this guy's from the UK. Well it's, that's what it says, but I don't really believe it at all. And as you can see, he's cause you gay. Wow. But anyway, his second account, Ohio Star, went, it's kiss my ass. You put my friend on YouTube because you cheat and he win. And then he wrote, lol, watch out, f*** yourself. Really? Really? Are you so angry? A anyway, mate, 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 if you're watching this, cool story, bro. I never cheated and he didn't win. I won because he disconnected from the server, which is Konami's fault, not mine. So, yeah, and I'm not even bothered about it because lol, YOLO swag, 2k13, that's all I've got to say. So, yeah, if you find this funny, comment below, <laughs> that's all I've got to say. So, if you, have enjoyed, if you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for more, and catch you later.